Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn about Playfair Cipher. So let's get started. First, let's start with the history of the Playfair Cipher. So the Playfair Cipher was invented by British scientist Charles Wheatstone. You may be wondering, the name is Playfair Cipher, but the name of the one who invented is Charles Wheatstone. So it was named after his friend, Baron Playfair, who promoted its use. The Playfair Cipher was used by the British Army in both the World Wars, that is World War I and World War II. Playfair Cipher is a bit different from other cipher. And why it is different? Because here, the key is represented in a 5x5 matrix which is constructed using a keyword. As you can see, the Playfair Cipher is a bit different. We have couple of new things here, that is a 5x5 matrix and a keyword. So for the purpose of easy understanding, we will learn Playfair Cipher in 3 steps. In step number 1, we'll learn the construction of the 5 cross 5 matrix. In step number 2, we'll learn the formation of diagrams. What are diagrams? We will learn when we get to that step. And in step number 3, we'll learn the encryption and decryption. So in step number 1, we get a matrix using the keyword. In step number 2, we get something called as diagrams. And in step number 3, we use both the matrix and the diagrams for encryption and decryption. Let's start with the first step that is the construction of a 5 cross 5 matrix. So here is a 5 cross 5 matrix and we will be filling this matrix with all the alphabets from A to Z. But you may be wondering, we have 26 alphabets and the places available are only 25. So what will we do? So in order to fill all the alphabets in the matrix, we will group I and J together. And once we group I and J together, the total number of alphabets become 25 and we can easily fit all the alphabets in the matrix. So the 5 cross 5 matrix is nothing but the permutation and combination of filling the matrix with all the alphabets. But the next question is how do we fill this matrix using a keyword? So let's understand this using some examples. So let's take example number 1. Here the keyword is monarchy. And here we have our 5 cross 5 matrix. So the step 1 is to input all the unique letters in the keyword in the order in which they appear. So here the keyword is monarchy. So we start with M, O, N, A, R, C, H and Y. Now we will strike out all the letters that are already filled from the alphabet set. So we cut out M, O, N, A, R, C, H, Y. Now the next step is pretty simple. We input all the remaining alphabets in the alphabetical order. So we input B, D, E, F, G, I and J together, K, L, P, Q, S, T, U, V, W, X and Z. And that's it. We have successfully constructed the 5 cross 5 matrix. Let's take another example to clear our concepts. So here the example number 2, we have the keyword as Lily. So here we have the 5 cross 5 matrix. So step 1, we input all the unique letters in the keyword in the order in which they appear. So we start with L, then we have I, so we input I and J together, because always remember I and J always go together. Then the next is L, but L is already included, so we will not include that. Then again we have L and I, which are already included, and finally we have E. Now we will strike out all the letters that are filled here, so we strike L, I and J and E and then fill the remaining matrix with all the remaining alphabets. So we have A, B, C, D, F, G, H, K, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. So we have successfully completed the step 1 that is construction of the 5 cross 5 matrix. Now let's move to the step 2, that is formation of diagrams. Before moving forward, let's understand what is a diagram. Diagram is nothing but a pair of alphabet. So when we pair two alphabets together, it becomes a diagram. That's it. Simple, right? So having understood what is a diagram, let's have a look at the rules for the formation of diagrams. So the rule number 1 is if the number of characters are odd, add a filler letter X at the end. Rule number 2 is make diagrams, that is make pair of alphabets. Rule number 3 is if the diagrams contain pairs with same letters, insert filler letter X to the first pair. 
Don't worry, we'll be solving examples to make this rules crystal clear. But first, let's list all the rules. So the rule number four is make new diagrams and drop or add any single trailing x as necessary. And finally, rule number five is repeat steps three and four till proper diagrams exist. Okay, so these are the five rules that we will be using to form diagrams. Now let's look at some examples to understand this properly. So here in example number one, we have the message balloon. So remember, we will be making diagrams of the message. So the step number one is if the number of characters are odd, add filler letter x at the end. So here the length of message that is balloon is seven, which is odd. So we will add a filler letter x at the end. So the message become balloon followed by x. Next, the step number two is make diagrams. So we pair two letters at a time. So we have first pair that is ba, then we have ll, oo, and nx. Now step number three is if the diagrams contain pairs with same letters, insert filler letter x to the first pair. So you can see we have two pairs which have the same letters that is ll and oo. And what does the rule say? If the diagram contains pair with same letters, insert filler letter x to the first pair. So we'll take the first pair that is ll. So we'll insert x between the two l. So we have ba, lxl. So we insert x between the two l. Then we have oo and nx. Now step number four is make new diagrams and drop or add any single trailing x as necessary. So we will again make diagrams that is pairing two letters at a time. So we have ba, lx, lo, on, and we have a trailing x. And as step number four says, we can drop any single trailing x. We just drop that x. And step five is repeat steps three and four till proper diagrams exist. And what are proper diagrams? Proper diagrams are diagrams that doesn't contain same letters in any pair. And we can see all our diagrams are proper diagrams. That is, no diagram contains the same letter. So we'll stop here. And these are the final diagrams. Let's look at another example to understand it better. So here in example number two. We have message as success. So the step number one is if the number of letters are odd, add filler letter x. So here the length of message is again seven. So we have to add x at the end. So we have success followed by x. The next step is make diagram. So we have S U C C E S and S X. As you can see, we have a diagram that has same letters. That is C C. So what we will do? We will insert filler letter x to the first pair. That is C C. So we have S U C X C. We insert X in between the two C. We have E S and S X. Next, the step number four is we make new diagrams. So we have S U C X C E S S and a single trailing X. Since it is a single trailing X, we'll just drop it. And then the step five is repeat step three and four till proper diagrams exist. Do we have proper diagrams here? No. Why? Because we still have S S, so we have to repeat three and four till the proper diagrams exist. So let's go to the second iteration. So we will insert X between the two S. So we have S U C X C E and S X and S. Now again, we will make new diagrams. So we have S U C X C E S X and a single S. And as the rule number four says, we add an X to the end to make a pair. And now, as you can see, all the diagrams are proper diagrams. That is, no diagrams contains the same letter. So we stop the iteration here. So I hope with this two example, you are crystal clear with the formation of diagrams. So congratulations, we are done with the step one and step two. And finally, we have the step three, which is encryption and decryption. Since encryption and decryption uses matrix from step one and the diagrams from step two, we'll use an example to understand this. Let's start with the step one. That is the formation of the phi cross phi matrix. Suppose the keyword is monarchy, and using the techniques learned in step one, we construct the following matrix. Now the step number two is formation of diagrams. Suppose the message is keynote, and using the techniques learned in step number two, we have the following diagrams. Now let's finally learn how to do encryption and decryption using the matrix and the diagrams. So here we have three cases. Let's start with the case number one, which is when both letters in the pair are in the same row. Let's learn how to do encryption. So in encryption, we replace with the letter on the right, with wrapping to the start of the row. Okay, don't worry, we'll understand this using the example. Let's take the first diagram, which is KE. 
So we have K E here. So first we'll locate where K and E are in the given matrix. So here we have K and here we have E. As you can see, both the letters are in the same row, thus satisfying the case number 1. And what we will do here? We will replace with the letter on the right. So we replace K with the letter to the right. But since we are at the end of the row, we will do wrapping, that is wrapping to the start of the row. So we go from K to E. So K will be replaced by E. And then for E we will go to the right. So we have F. So E will be replaced by F. So this was the case number 1, that is when both the letters in the pair are in the same row. Let's look at the case number 2, where both the letters in the pair are in the same column. So in case number 2, for encryption, we replace with the letter below, with wrapping to the start of the column. Let's take a second diagram for understanding this case. We have Y and here. Let's look at Y and N in this matrix. So we have Y here and N here. So it satisfies the case number 2, that is when both the letters in the pair are in the same column. And what we do here, we replace with the letter below. So we replace Y with the letter below, that is G, and we replace N with the letter below, that is Y. So Y N becomes G Y. This was the case number 2, that is when both the letters in the pair are in the same column. Finally, we have case number 3, that is when both the letters are neither in the same row nor in the same column. So what we do here in encryption, we replace with the intersection of row cross column. So you may be wondering what is this row cross column? So row cross column means we take the row of the current letter and the column of the next letter and replace with the intersection of both this thing. Okay, I know it sounds a bit confusing, but trust me with some couple of examples and visualization, you will understand this crystal clear. So let's use the next diagram that is OT for understanding this case. So we have O and T here. Let's locate O and T in the given matrix. So we have O here and we have T here. As you can see, it satisfies the case number 3, that is when both the letters are neither in the same row nor in the same column. And what we do? We replace with the intersection of row cross column. Let's take the first letter that is O. So what we do? We get the row of O and column of T. So we have row of O and column of T. So you can see if we take row of O and column of T, we get the intersection as R. So we replace O with R. The next letter is T. So what we do? We take the row of T and column of O. So if we take the row of T and column of O, we get the intersection as P. So we have P. So T is replaced by P. Let's take the next diagram to understand it again. So we have E and X. So let's look at E and X here. So we have E and X. And as we can see, it is neither in the same row nor in the same column, thus satisfying the case number 3. So what do we do here? We replace with the intersection of row cross column. Let's first take E. So we take row of E and column of X. So we take row of E and column of X. So we can see the intersection is I and J. So what you will take I or J, it is up to you. But remember, if you take I, then continue with I. And if you take J, then continue with J. I will be continuing with I. So we will replace this E with I. The next letter is X. So what we will do? We will take the row of X and the column of E. So we take the row of X and the column of E. So we can see the intersection gives us U. So we replace X with U. So I hope it's clear to you how to do encryption in case number 3. We take the row of the current letter and the column of the next letter and replace with the intersection of both these things. This was all about encryption. Let's see how to do decryption. Let's start with the case number 1, that is when both the letters in the pair are in the same row. So in decryption, we replace with the letter on the left with wrapping to the end of the row. So in encryption, we go to the right, in decryption, we go to the left. So we will use this diagram that is ENF. So we have ENF here. Let's look at ENF in the matrix. So we have E here and we have F here. So both are in the same row. So what we will do? We will replace with the letter on the left. So we replace E with the letter on the left. But since we are the start of the row, we will wrap to the end. So we have K. So we replace E with K. And then F will be replaced by E. So you can see we have got our original diagram again. This was case number 1, where both the letters in the pair are in the same row. 
The next case is when both the letters in the pair are in the same column. So what we do in decryption? We replace with the letter above with wrapping to the end of the column. So in encryption we go below, in decryption we go above. Let's take this diagram. So we have G and Y. Let's look at G and Y in this matrix. So we have G here and we have Y here satisfying the condition where both the letters are in the same column. What we do? We replace with the letter above. So G will be replaced by the letter above that is Y and Y will be replaced by the letter above it that is N. So Y is replaced by N. And finally we are in the case number 3 where both the letters are neither in the same row nor in the same column. So what we do in decryption? We replace with the intersection of row cross column. This might be a bit surprising to you right because in first two cases encryption and decryption are completely opposite of each other. But in case number 3 both the encryption and decryption follow the same rule that is replace with the intersection of row cross column. Let's start with the first diagram that is RP. So we have RP here. Let's look at RP in the given matrix. So we have R here and P here. So let's start with the first letter R. So what we do? We take the row of R and column of P. So we take the row of R and column of P. So we can see the intersection gives us O. So R will be replaced by O. The next letter is P. So what do we do here? We take the row of P and column of R. So we take the row of P and column of R. So what we have in the intersection? We have T. So P will be replaced by T. Finally, let's look at the last diagram that is I and U. So we have I and U here. Let's look at I and U in the matrix. So we have I and G together. So this is I and here we have U. Let's start with the first letter that is I. So what do we do here? We take the row of I and the column of U. So we take the row of I and the column of U and we get the intersection as E. So we replace I with E. Next we have U. So what do we do here? We take the row of U and the column of I. So we take the row of U and column of I. So the intersection gives us X. So we replace U with X. This was all about encryption and decryption. We have covered all the cases with suitable examples. And with this we have completed the Playfair cipher. And that's it for the video guys. Thanks for watching the video and if you have any doubt please do let us know in the comment section below. And if you have found the video helpful then do like and share the video with your friends and subscribe to be the best channel for more such video. Meet you in the next video of the CSS series. Bye bye.